A mystery since man first looked at the stars. What's out there? What makes up the universe? A group of scientists from 60 institutions in 16 countries have collaborated on a project to try and answer that question, or at least fill in some of the blanks. Their experiment is called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, AMS for short, and it's hitching a ride on Space Shuttle Endeavour's last mission. So you go in and you, you know, clip on multimeters. To Trent the, Martin has been managing the AMS for over a decade. Essentially what we're trying to do is just map the cosmic rays that are coming and hitting the Earth uh, so that we can tell what's out there, what's in the universe. And just a few hours after the AMS is mounted to the side of the International Space Station, data will start streaming down to Earth, information on the high energy particles of space. Unlike a telescope that allows visual study of the universe, the AMS uses an extremely powerful magnet to sift through space. Nobel Prize winning scientist Dr. Samuel King is leading the AMS experiment that could shed light on the idea that a massive explosion created the universe, the Big Bang Theory, that proposes there are two kinds of matter. So you have matter, you must have antimatter. So now the universe is uh, 14 billion years old. Okay? We have all of us made out of matter. The question is, where is the universe made out of antimatter? The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer will be the last major piece of equipment brought to the International Space Station by a shuttle. NASA hopes that data gleaned by the experiment will be used for possible future missions to asteroids and Mars. You could potentially use uh, an active magnet or some other system to bend charged particles that are coming that would potentially uh, cause harm to astronauts that are on a long duration mission. The radiation uh, environments that we measure with AMS will be, I think, extremely useful to the, to the space scientists who, who worry about uh, protecting astronauts from radiation. The 10 years of data the AMS will be generating not only has the potential of greatly expanding man's knowledge of space, but it also has the potential of assisting man to travel deeper into space. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, at the Kennedy Space Center.